In order to access our board portal so that students can collaborate or interact with you, we need to show them where to go. So if you remember from earlier, I said in the top left corner, you'll see your board name. Mine says Sharp. We edited that right at the beginning on myviewboard.com. If you click or touch that, it's going to open up this window here. You'll see at the top, it says myviewboard.com slash sharp. This is my board portal. If you changed your board name, yours will be myviewboard.com slash whatever you changed your board name to. The QR code here is the same URL that's displayed on the top. So you can scan the QR code or just type this in. Also, students can bookmark this if they access your portal a lot. Let's turn it over to Blake for a second. Blake's gonna talk about how to get inside into the portal. Thanks, Mr. Sharp. The first thing we're gonna do is open up a browser. In this scenario, we have a Chrome browser open. We're gonna to go to myviewboard.com slash sharp as displayed on the screen. As soon as the page loads, it's gonna ask for our name. You type in your name, click confirm, and now we have a couple different options. As you can see in the top, it says not Blake, which means I can change my name. The other piece is screen sharing. So I can share my screen directly to Mr. Sharp's panel, and he can decide when my screen appears and when my screen disappears. So very much driven from the teacher perspective. Another option that's available is called Pop Quiz. We're gonna dig into that here in a moment. Poll Quiz is another option that students have as a way to engage with the lesson or the software itself. And then finally, you have the Upload, or what we call Throw, which allows me as the student to throw pictures directly to Mr. Sharp's whiteboard software. Cool, thank you, Blake.